Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We're off raiding. We're getting as much loot and plunder as we can. Um, we're looking around here for any provinces that are easy to take that aren't near where we last saw the army. Um, oh wow, if we go up here, there's like a line and it's just you get no loot at all. How about um, Upcliff? We got a little bit. There's 17 uh, gold available. 17 loot. We may want to go to a different uh, place and see if we can get some uh, <laughs> stuff there. Elise Tollette died after a period of illness. She was previously married to Artis the Gentle, who was, uh, of course, the ruler of the Mountain and Vale, which we are currently uh, raiding. So we'll grab a little bit of this gold. Be good. Uh, of course, the Mountain and Vale might soon become part of the rock would also be very interesting because that is of course what the war is going on uh, we should probably see how that's going um that is going mostly in favor of the rock so the mountain veil does look like it's going to come onto the rock at any moment my liege i'm pleased to report your errant subject chan lee is converted to the drowned god faith praise the drowned god your humble drowned man arian gale venice he's very good um okay so she's now a drowned god faith follower and she is married to ethan forrester who is a uh, no religion uh, follower. Um, that's a little bit of a bug. We'll just ignore that for just now. Uh, he's an old god follower, obviously. Yeah, okay, we, we, we'll fix that eventually. <laughs> Maybe uh, between episodes I'll uh, go and, I just I don't know why I didn't notice that one. Okay, uh, well we'll grab the loot. Um, yeah, let's head out here. My lord, thank you for having me in this household these past years, but I must serve a higher purpose now. Lord Reaver Hagen has accepted me into his service, so I so leave for Lannisport immediately. Yours, James. Oh, our spymaster is gone, our old regent, the person who uh, taught us some of the sneakier sides of ourself. Oh well. Um, we're going to have to put in a new person. Do we put in Fryn, the person who was trying to kill him? Or do we put in Arjana, the uh, whore? Um, I think we'll put in Ar... I mean, Fryn likes us more, but she was. We do know that she was trying to very unsubtly kill um, James Meyer. Let's put in uh, Arjana, and we will uh, make her scheme. Okay. Maybe it's uh, enemies helping themselves out uh, so that we can take back um, Stone Tree, which uh, the horrors controlled. Uh, now you're at war. You are at war. Good. So we can maybe go to something nice over here if there's anything nice. The capital? Uh, it's well protected. That's the problem. Uh, there's some along the border we can maybe look at. Is there anything further in? Um, this one might be nice. Or um, Dari might be nice. Riverlands are of course also at war. We go to River Run and siege that down a little bit. Okay. Let's see what we can grab in River Run. You head this way? Um. Is this too far inland? You can head here. This must be a minor river then. And this. This one was a major river though. Yeah. So this one's minor. So you can't go all the way to River Run. I see. We could go to Dari though. That's reasonable. Oh, there's also the option of heading in here and trying to get some of these provinces, although they're not, like, they're very well defended. Might not be the best plan ever. Uh, Betrothed can marry. Arwen Goodbrother can marry uh, Guinea Pike, her uncle. We'll of course say yes. Right, so let's drop off our people at Dari. Uh, we will accept. So it's going to give us the decline message in a second. Um, now, we could uh, potentially get a better alliance here. If we go to her father. We um, form an alliance. He's considering another... Oh, all right, give me a second. There we are. Uh, we could form an alliance with him, but he would say no. But there's still a chance at some point we could form an alliance with them. We've set the groundwork, but he just doesn't like us very much. Which is fair enough. Uh, Alton Hor has been banished from the Great Wick lands. Okay. My liege, my mission to Lannisport has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Lord Reaver Hagen of Harlaw, I seem to have managed to make him understand what benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Your humble just cart, Lord Cotter. Oh, good. He likes us a little bit more. Very nice. Oh, we want to get out of here. 
Uh, Princess uh, Alandria of Doran has formed an alliance with the Storm King Emin of the Stormlands. Okay, good. I mean, we don't really care, but good for them. Uh, 78 gold. Okay, where are we going to go next? How about around here? Got to be something around here to siege. Arson of Ice Bay Shore Wildling Revolt has usurped the title Chiefdom of Iron Bay Shore from Yigan Taltalker. Okay. Are you in a war? You're not in a war. You're just independent. Wow. Okay. Uh, you're in a war. Oh, the Stormlands are in a war. They're in a war against... Oh, uh, for Macy too. Yeah. Uh, so we could maybe get some land off of them if we have a look at our loot bars. Um, hmm. Wendwater's quite nice, and it has a border with the, uh, eastern Blackwater Bay. A son was born to Hakar Chozax and Gwyneth of Shatterstone named Abrafo. Abrafo? Yeah. Anyway, he's quick. Good. Let's head over here. Um, I think he died stillborn. I think that's what... Yeah, he died stillborn. Okay. It just took a day for that to come in. We don't want to go there. There's an army there. Uh, how about Tarth? Uh, no, no sapphires there. Okay. Um, keep going down. Right. Uh, rain house down here at the end could be quite nice. See if we can get some stuff in the cave of rains. We're kind of making our way back. Uh, just around. Drop ourselves off. The regency for Lord Arik of Harlow Hill has ended. Okay, good. I finished my education in the ways of war, and I find that I have some talent for it. We gained the trait Skill Commander. Ooh, wow, that gives us a nice bit of martial. Uh, we need to pick a character focus. What is our character focus going to be? Well, we're a family person. Definitely needs family to be a potential option. Um, we're a little bit sneaky, but not really that sneaky. Uh, I think family is probably going to be the best option. I mean, we are going to go to war as well. Um, patient, maybe we could do rulership, but we're not really um, we're not really very diplomatic. So I think we're going to go for a family. There we go. Um, right, pick an ambition. I forgot. Uh, okay, have a son. Have a son. Definitely have a son. And this should be going to reaving, which we'll leave for just um, a little bit. Uh, we're going to grab the money that we can, and then we're going to get the hell out here. Don't want to be near that army. Uh, you have a new heir. If you die now, you'll play a Josran Serpentail. Oh, so our other uncle is dead. Um, your uncle, Lenwood Serpentail, has died. Now it falls upon you to decide whether you want to make the funeral big and special event, or keep it a small and private one. So he was actually murdered by Bryce in uh, personal combat. Or he was killed by Bryce in uh, personal combat. Bryce is a Stormlander. Oh! So he was killed while doing his raiding. Um, he deserves a funeral. We'll invite the Serpentail family. Uh, we need to pick a new commander. Okay. We could choose, uh, we choose make our uh, Targaryen. He's been in our court a long time. Definitely seems like an option. He's also a good commander. Yeah. Okay. Make our. Uh, anyone else to imprison? Not really. We'll keep on uh, sieging. Well, uh, let's switch it to the right view. There we are. The invitation has been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. Guests will arrive soon and best get on with it. The best part about preparing for a feast is deciding what foodstuffs I must serve. Uh, let's go for lavishly. King Tommen of the Reach has declared the Reachman War for Lord Leo's claim on Greensward on Lord Brian the Unchaste. So this is the King's Wood, so up here. Yeah, so he's declared the war for Greensward, so that one province. Okay, the one lordship. Lord Cotter has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of Harlow Hill, but he's has right an honourable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants, as to foster greater loyalty. Well, I'll agree. Yeah, I shall arrange this reward. Um, we'll continue getting our loot. I'm expert invite to plot as we arrive from Joseph and Serpent Hill. Dear nephew, may you live in harmony and contentment. We would like you to back a plot to replace uh, Than Perli as treasurer. Um, what do we think about Than Perli? Than Perli, we're not really a fan. Okay, we're in your plot. Oh, I thought this army was moving to us for a second there. It's like, oh, I didn't notice. Uh, the fire blasted right past my face, and now my hair started to curl away from the fire. The fire eater had been a bit too careless for my taste, but his troop and he were clearly greatly skilled. Um... 
too dangerous. Too dangerous. All the guests have arrived at Harlow Hill. It's now time to start the feasting to celebrate the life of Lenwood Serpentail. News from Harlow Hill, my lord. A new dragon has entered the world. Nun Alvarez Pereira has successfully uh, hatched one. He's named his he dragon Firecatcher. Um, Firecatcher, Firecatcher it. Okay. Um, well, interesting. There is now a dragon at our court. Apparently being educated by us, it says. Uh, I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. Interesting. Not uh, friends with uh, Nun Alvarez yet. Just uh, in his court. To the magnificent Lord Adric. May you live in harmony and contentment. I've decided to offer you the position of commander. Do you accept? Yeah, sure. We'll accept. It's kind of what we do. Some of my guests did not seem satisfied with the food. I would have never thought one of them would have complained out loud. Master Urgen said lots of nasty stuff about the food and I couldn't help but feel irritated. If you don't have something nice to say, uh, shut up. Yes. I started talking to one of my guests at the feast and found that they were most interesting. Hours flew by, wine bottles were emptied, and other guests excused themselves and went to bed, but we kept talking in the wee, wee hours. I met a more fascinating person, Lord Cotter or Justicar. We are close friends with him now. Okay. Summer is nearly at an end, and so autumn and the harvest is upon us. The feasting shall shall celebrate this time, with food from fair to Harlow Hill, including boar, goose and berries, salmon and lobster, brought to Harlow Hill. As part of this, you must decide how much of the harvest is aside for the winter. Um, we are patient and diligent. A large amount will be set aside. Obviously. At age 23, King Walton II of the North died of gonorrhea. His child, King Andrew, is taking over. He is a lunatic, but he's a lunatic genius. Wow. Okay, and he owns uh, ice. That's all we know about him. The funeral. It's been a day since Lenwood passed away. The strongest reavers and kin of the dead have gathered in the keep, where a drowned man is brought in to check the deceased. Then the assembled party lift the body and carry it from the keep to the waiting ship, and it is sailed out into the open sea where the anchor is cast. Drowned men gather up seawater and sprinkle it upon the dead, speaking the ancient words. With the rites completed, each member of the conclave comes together to recount memories of the deceased, the greatest reavings, major boarding actions, and many treasures paid for with the iron price. As the sun falls, a drowned man ties off the body and is cast overboard with the words, What is dead may never die, but rises again, harder and stronger. Lenwood Serpentil was slain by Bryce in personal combat. He was a man who didn't let anyone stand in his way. And so it is done. We can go on a reaving, but we're not going to do that just now yet either. We're just going to hold off, just for a little bit. Maybe till we're 17, I say? Yeah. Okay, so maybe October we'll go on our reaving. Give it a year at least of being an adult without dying. My young wife has finished her education in the intrigues of the court. She has learned all the basic skills required. She is a uh, flamboyant schemer. Good. Good. Um, okay, she is cruel, deceitful, ruthless, uh, brawny, and diligent. Okay. Interesting. Well, um... We're going to head out to the ship here, because I think we got most of what we're going to get there. Um, we're pretty much full on loot. We've got another 30 we could potentially get. Uh, maybe in Wraith Town? Is this still at war with someone? It is, so we could steal some more from there. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll drop in. Continue our raiding. Uh, Oris uh, Dondarian has been released from uh, imprisonment. Oh, get out of here. They're having none of this. They're like, the moment we landed, just get out of there. Ooh, Sun Spear would be great to go and raid. We've got so much money. Let's drop our troops on Sun Spear. See if we can grab something good. So yeah, we're getting a lot of possible loot here. It has come to my attention that the just carved stone tree, Lenwood, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain and tried to get enough people to recognize the claim of my title that he has fabricated for his liege, Lord Gilwood of Serpent Hill. Oh, okay. Lord Gilwood has 2,000 men, and we have a mere, um, 1,000. They better not use it. Yes. Lord Yorin uh, has died of Vulture's Roost. Uh, okay. My nose is... I don't feel too well. Something's wrong with me. I'm burning up with fever. My nose is running. My head feels as if someone is banging something hard against it. We are ill. Oh, no. Well, we'll continue getting his loot. Uh, does this build up as well while we're looting? Lord um, Eston of Seaguard has served the High Lordship of Blackwater from Lady uh, Finia. So Blackwater is called 
controlled by the Malisters instead of the Shawnees. Um, okay. Is this, right, too, does this number go up in real time? Yes, it does. So we can just go in this one. Uh, Prince Al uh, Aberfur of Wallando died under suspicious circumstances. He was murdered. That now means that Hakar uh, Chozax is in charge of uh, Wallando. And he has left our court, obviously. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, we're almost full. We're about full on loot. We're full on loot. Right, time to leave. Time to bring your raiders home. It looks like Gilwood uh, Silveraxe didn't actually, um, like, didn't press his claim either, because we didn't get an event for it. Right? Yeah, he didn't press his claim. Uh, a daughter was born for the Targaryens, um, named Gale Targaryen. Okay. Uh, who can we righteously imprison now? Uh, Josran, Fren, and Vailman. Okay. A daughter was born to Alf and Lucerae named Lara. Oh, and she uh, did not inherit slow, which is uh, nice, I suppose. We're almost all the way back ground. And hopefully we can land over here. How's the Rock's War going, out of curiosity? Uh, pretty much in favor of the Rock, almost 100%. Let's uh, land back in Harlow Hill. We've got all the gold and all the prestige. We're going to disband everything just now. We're just going to let it all recharge. There we are. We'll give it a chance to recharge. Uh, when we're 18, we can stop training troop, uh, training children. So when we start training troops, that'll give us a lot more uh, troop count overall. We do have a lot of money, so we could pay for mercenaries if anything gets too dire. I woke this morning feeling much better. It seems my illness has passed. We're live. We're live. Fantastic. Um, you know what? I feel much better. We've just become 17. Time to go on a reaving. Definitely. Uh, disputed lands. Everyone goes to the disputed lands. See how it goes. Hopefully it'll be fine. Um, news from Dragonstone, my lord. A new dragon has entered the world. Uh, Jakara Sunglass has apparently successfully hatched one. He's named the He Dragon Duskfire. Uh, that would be the uh, son or daughter of uh, Fafnir. A son, because it's got wife there. Son of Fafnir. Okay, so they got another dragon. How's a dragon in our court doing? If we go to Nun Alvarez here. Oh, right, so we can go to the dragon, couldn't we? There we go. Our dragon's alright. It's uh, raw. Okay. Oh, it is friends with Nun Alvarez, so I guess he will become a dragon rider in time, maybe. The men are ready. Long ships prepared. Now, time to begin our journey across the narrow sea to pay the iron price. We're taking ourselves, Havium, and Guinea Pike. It's a small reaving, but it's a good reaving. Our regent is uh, Josran, and he will hold the court uh, until we get back. If we get back. Hopefully we'll get back. That'd be nice. Don't want to die again. A little bit of auto-saving going on. Okay. Um, ooh, weak claims. Uh, on the Kennings. On Lord of Case. Uh, the High Lordship of the Seastone Isles for Meredith Hoare. Uh, the Kingdom of the Iron Isles for Agena Hoare. And the Kingdom of Westeros for Raella Macy. None of these people are landed, of course. But there are other problems there. Malisha, right to have shocking news. Friend tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover a plot to kill James Meyer. Well, I think that's definitely a sign we should probably at least try and imprison Friend. Friend managed to avoid my guardsmen and fled to the court of Lord Torwald. Okay. And Havium is, of is uh, on a reaving with us right now, so that's interesting. Um, yeah, also, can we uh, press our claim on uh, this one? Uh, we cannot declare war on them because we need to, to be approved by our council, which they don't approve, and uh, we must be... Uh, oh, he must be independent. Ah, yes. We could potentially press it once we go back under the rock. Also, do our council have to approve all of our um, things? Did they change that law on us? Um, council are empowered. Damn. Okay. Although it's because we're in a regency, isn't it? Ah, okay. Uh, Oris Dondarrion has been released from... Uh, Aleandra Dorn's Dungeons. Lord Bryce, the, uh, the Lion of Storm's End, accepted Storm King Emmon of the Stormlands Peace Offer. So, Lord Bryce has been imprisoned, and he own, he owns Storm's End, so... Uh, he was released, okay. Ironborn longships cut through the water swift and sure, hence we have successfully pursued a small merchant fleet. 
If we were to attack and pay the iron price for the cargo, we would gain much and more. Of course we'll attack. Mer uh, the enemy merchants were too well armed for us to take their gold and utilized the warships to good effort, not allowing us to board the merchant vessels. We lost a few men, but we should be able to take back our iron price. Fate smiles upon me. My wife Fernie is pregnant, but we're not there. A little bit suspicious. We're also a uh, chase, so that's going to be a problem. Uh, Belena Glover has died. She was married to Hadron from Volantis, who is over in the Dothraki lands currently. Um, right. Just gonna continue waiting for our reaving to happen. See what cool things happen with that. As they all quieted down. And uh, what's going on with the rock? Um, you're still winning your war. So it's gonna take a while to get the uh, rest of the war score. Money has been disappearing from my treasury. I suspect my regent Josaran, but there is no proof. Mmm, sneaky Josaran. Lord Byron the Unchaste accepted King Tommen of the Reach's peace offer. So he's taken his land that he wanted. Um, alright. Um, Lord Gilwood of Stonetree used a favour on Lord James of Lansport to force them to join all their factions. What factions? Liege Loyalists. Oh, so he forced somebody who was not a Liege Loyalist, James Meyer, to be a Liege Loyalist. Interesting. Interesting use of favours. Yeah, you can't do that in vanilla because there are no Liege Loyalist factions, I believe, so that's very interesting. Unless they added that in in Conclave and uh, it wasn't a mod thing, but I think that's been a, that's a mod thing. A uh, peasant vault. Okay. Uh, King Tyros of the Rock inherited the High Lordship of Great Wick and all other titles from Lord Stig of Great Wick. So that all went to uh, King Tyros. Does that mean there are no Merlins left? There are five living members. Oh, interesting. Why well, didn't go back to uh, the Merlins? Must be uh, too far away. Uh, we can press a weak claims again. A scout has spied a coastal fishing village. He says there's much plunder and many women to be found there. The men who so were more hardy than we thought. Our ironborn managed to make a beachhead, but we're fought back. We failed to claim our iron price today. We're not doing well on this weaving. Uh, uh, Janessa Cordain died of pneumonia. Our childhood crush is now dead. The Lords of the Iron Isles have approved the institution of medium faith authority law. Which is... Um... We can't see because we're not in the Iron Isles. Oh, we could look at... We could actually look in here and see if we can see... Uh, maybe we'll go back to this one. Are there any, um, realm of th Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll need to wait till we're in a realm that has that kind of law. Okay. Well, we'll continue, uh, waiting for our reaving. See how well, if we can actually get a good thing happening. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say fire capture escaped from the dungeons of Nun Alvarez Piera and spilled a lair in Harlow Hill. What have you done, Nun Alvarez Piera? The dragon fa uh, fire catcher has built a lair and had in Harlow Hill after escaping in Alvarez Piera. Well, uh, we will definitely go and face them in a minute after we finish our reaving. And I'll keep, I think I'll keep the episode going. We'll see. Frenya tried to catch the dragon, ca uh, the dragon fire catcher and failed. Where will it strike next? Okay. You have a new heir. If you die now, you'll play as Urus Serpent Tail. Oh, the timing is perfect. Let's say that we did this after we came back from our reaving. We're gonna go face the dragon ourselves. We'll face the dragon. Which dragon shall I face? The only dragon, Firecatcher. Artis Cordain died bedridden and infirm. He was married to Ravelia, but they had no. Oh, no, never mind. They had one child, Janessa, who had no children. Uh, you have scoured the area in search of Firecatcher. But now you have finally cornered the beast. How shall you deal with them? You are mine. You will attempt to tame it and mount Firecatcher. I'll slay the beast. Or better not stay here. We'll attempt to tame and mount Firecatcher. You failed to tame the dragon Firecatcher and now face the consequences. 20% chance dying. I'm badly injured. I've gained the wounded trait. Love how it is the Archmage stir of the Citadel. It is that big a deal. He's just come up to be like, no, I'll I'll, uh, I'll try and make you better. We're not going to do it again. We need a new uh, Sworn Shield, apparently. Uh, oh, because Artis Cordain just died. Um, Again, not Lend Lannister, because we don't trust him totally. Eight. Nuna Alvarez Piera. I guess this is his penitent for our, uh, the dragon situation. Well, we tried. Travelers bring 
R rumors of fire and blood. Did they say dragons live once more? And it's uh, really on now rides Deathwing into battle. Will the world have enough room for another dragon rider? Now, the thing is, uh, I believe we'll be able to do it again once we're not wounded, if you want to. My lord, um, my scheming at Harlow Hill is born fruit. I've discovered a plot where Gwyneth's Mac seems to kill Master Rook of Grey Garden, your humble steward, Gwyneth Torn. Now, the thing is, we're not, uh, we're not justice focused, and she's our mother, so we don't care. Lena Targaryen tried to catch the dragon firecatcher and failed. A Targaryen failed. Oh dear. Let's see if the next person succeeds. It's who will get the dragon. Makar tried and he failed. Both Targaryens have had their shot. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get the dragon? Somebody's sure to get it, right? That was being ransomed. Oh, what was this one? Alex says Zobrider died. Um, a father of Noon Alvarez. Uh, reaving has come to an end. We have returned from across the seas after abiding the old ways of reaving and pillaging like true Ironborn. We have gained much respect in, for our daring and ambition. Yes. The Regency has ended. It wasn't a very good reaving overall. Uh, Lord Garth of Longtables declared Garth's war to liberate captives. Uh, a son was born to Alf and Lucera named Gullion. Another son for Alf. Very successful he's been. Uh, very, very successful. I'm just waiting to see if anyone can get the dragon. To be honest, we'll go till um, we'll go till half an hour into the episode, and if we haven't got a dragon by then, we'll end it. Uh, and Lucera's died after a period of illness after giving Alf two children. I've been spending more time with my wife Fernie lately, and although we did not marry for love, I can tell it's growing between us. Ah, Marshall Bliss. Yes, Marshall Bliss. Arian has been a leal and able servant. I'm successfully completed many tasks in aid of Harlow Hill. It be seen as right an honourable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants as to foster greater loyalty. Sure. Seems to be what we do. And he has actually been doing a good job. We've seen the number of people have been converted. It's very, very good for him. Uh, Frenia died of an infected wound. She was married to Ambrod and um, had one child who was Lord Reaver Hagen. Okay. Well, she had one child. Ambrod has had more. Uh, Master Brusco of Carrot uh, usurped the city of Mycath from Pavrith. Okay. Um, don't know why we got pop about either of them, but we did. Um, okay, Storm King Emin of Stormland decided to release people from prison. Um, Torhees of Stonebridge died. That was the father of somebody, I'm sure, or related to somebody. At some point. Okay. Uh, so no one else has tried the dragon? Hmm. Interesting. I would have thought someone else in our court would try. News from the Great Plaza, my lord. A new dragon has entered the world. Donifez Magar has apparently successfully hatched the dragon Felfang. Good for him. Well done, small child. You have managed to hatch a dragon when nobody else has succeeded. Or, or tame a dragon over here and no one succeeded. My lord, it has come to my attention nobody has been designated regent for Harlow Hill should the realm need it. Neither say this is a perilous position, as surely Scrabble and Rivalry will merge without clear leadership. I humbly petition you to name me as designated regent to avoid a sort of trouble. Signed, Guinea of House Torn. Sure, you can be our regent. Like, uh, you're our uncle. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Fernie, is pregnant. Good. Orton insists that I uh, help him get an old hat to fit. A very futile task, as he's too big for it now, and I've already told him that several times. Um, no child tells me what to do, or are we given to his demands? No child tells me what to do. Orton thinks I'm not. I'm mean for not helping. He even stuck his tongue out with me. Don't mess with Adric. Yeah, you, you're you're uh, on a list now. Uh, you would like me to be your commander, um, Uncle, Uncle, Kinsman. Sure, we'll be your commander. He wants us to be his commander. We'll be his commander. Nobody else gonna take a shot at the dragon. I'm very disappointed. A daughter was born to Arjana Bone and Garth Goldwine named Lucilla. Interesting. She decided to change her house. She was definitely Arjana Whore, but she has now changed to, to Bone. Huh. Wonder why she did that. Is it because she's a bastard of the house? But. Okay, whatever. Um, and Garth Goldwine named Lucilla, which is also interesting because she is also a bastard and she's died stillborn. 
Um, if we go to Lend Lannister here, I just want to have a quick look. Is he still Lend Lannister? Or did he switch over? Yeah, he's still Lend Lannister, but he is a bastard and he didn't change his name. Interesting. Very interesting. And that's us hit um, half an hour in the episode. Nobody else take a shot of the dragon. Give it another 10 seconds. Nobody else is even thinking about taking a shot of the dragon. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Next time we will see if somebody will get this dragon that's in our court. See you then. Goodbye.